and welcome. We are doing UHV3 and we were on module 2, lecture 7, talking about right understanding. And yesterday um, we had spoken of this assignment. Day before also we spoke of the same assignment. We will briefly take your observations and questions and then move on to the next lecture. Yesterday there were a few hands raised. So if there are questions regarding the content, we talked about the form, property, and so on, natural characteristic, innateness, coexistence for every unit of the different orders. We were asking about what we are doing to fulfill our participation with each of these orders. So supposing you are using some physical facility, what is our role when we use that physical facility. Or when we interact with the bio order, we take vegetables, we take fruit from the bio order, from plants, from trees. It is our participation with this bio order, with the animal order like birds and other animals. What is our participation with other human beings? What is our participation? So I think there were some ask your questions or give your observations now. First of all, are we able to follow what this whole, this was uh, some new content, fresh content, I think, as compared to earlier lectures. So if we are able to follow or not, we can reply in the chat. Is it making sense? So if there are any questions or observations. Didi, here is an observation from my mm -hmm. own exploration in the family with mm -hmm. my daughters. Uh, my daughters are now 26 and 21. Mm -hmm. uh, when I look back, whatever mistakes I make made uh, in the form of guidance, quote unquote, I used to think that that is guidance and mm -hmm. care, care and guidance, I thought, which I overdid at that time. Uh, gradually, I started realizing, uh, like after they uh, became adolescent, I realized the mistakes of uh, when they were children and when they... Uh, past adolescence, then I look back. So that process was there, but then uh, it was a kind of groping and uh, struggling to make sense uh, of the things. But now in this uh, one and a half year almost, I can uh, clearly see that, uh, like, and now I hear also questions from parents who, are, who have small children and mm -hmm. they think that this has to be done. This is good for them. Uh, so uh, that imposition comes and it doesn't work as you always say and I have seen that now my children are not small but then with children we have issues like even when they are in college or regarding their career choice of career choice of partner marriage all these issues keep coming up it's not that we have crossed that stage and I don't have to be like uh, don't have to understand uh, how to They'll, uh, wait. Oh, like don't uh, that I don't have to understand parenting that care and guidance part is still there but I can see now uh, I have uh, like after coming to UHV uh, that uh, imposition doesn't work at all ultimately it's the right feeling and understanding because when I could from inside I uh, became calm and uh, and that, for that also, I am grateful to UHV that uh, I had reasons. Like, it's not that forcing that, no, you have to be calm with them. Otherwise, they will react. Uh, earlier, it was a kind of chain reactions uh, uh, on the surface from both sides. Or maximum, it used to be like I stopped uh, external reactions. But inside me, internal reactions were there. But now I when I consider that other person, uh, not by age, not as my daughter, but another self, uh, it has become quite easier to respect them. And uh, that respect, that uh, right evaluation of the other, that has helped me so much. And gradually things are looking up for both sides, for parents. I had to work with my husband uh, regarding them because normally, uh, fathers are not that connected uh, and with them also so uh, I'm at ease I can do that now 
because that feeling, that concern is there always. Uh, but we overdo parenting and we try to impose and ultimately result is it was never good. But I can see the results also that they also start accepting uh, that concern and understanding only will work. And then concern from my side, they see that. It was there all, uh, earlier also, but I used to cover it up with so much of like strictness and my views and that kind of thing. So now I redefine care and guidance, especially guidance, because we instruct too much, we advise too much. I see it like this, that yes, we have to tell them that is uh, like, it looks like that uh, this is, this would do good to you, but you see. So when we leave it, sooner or later, they pick that up and that becomes their own. It is not coming from parental authority, but it, because it may take some time, but then gently, if we keep guiding them, uh, if we see it clearly that something is good for them, but they're not doing it, uh, just give them space and time and it works. That's what I have realized in this one year at least. And from your sharings also, it was quite apparent. Thanks. From the discussions, uh, I can uh, recall one of the resource person statement that we are for earth or earth is for us. So. Mm -hmm. Whenever our participation in larger order, we can see that we are for it. So we should always uh, think of uh, eco-friendly, natural friendly. So whatever we do, even going to a shop, uh, mostly I am taking cloth bag. So even this small uh, act will help a lot whenever possible. I am not completely 100% taking always cloth bag. So, but whenever I use plastic I'm not feeling good. This is one of the observation. And uh, regarding this organic farming, nearby our town also, uh, there is a huge organic farming. So whenever we visit there, we used to bring the, those products and using those products. Um, but I observed that they are little costly now compared to what we are getting in the market. But uh, yeah, so when all get awareness and the products get more and more available, uh, then maybe the cost will reduce. So uh, nowadays, I also listen that there are some places, even some people are giving these old seeds uh, that is very uh, traditionally they were saving uh, for healthy food they are giving for free. So these kind of changes we are noticing here and there, but more awareness should be there. So this is what my observation regarding this uh, discussion. Thank you. See, outside when we focus on, you know, actions, behavior, at the base, that understanding, that is what is driving the action. So if we just do piecemeal, you know, we should do this, we should do that and the understanding is not there in the base, then the why you're doing it is not connected up with everything. Then we don't have the whole picture. Then we are just doing something, some one small fraction of you know, the larger whole. And so that is why it is so important to have the whole picture, to awaken to the higher activities, to be able to see our role in every possible area so that there can be you know, fulfillment for us and fulfillment for others. Um, so if anybody has any question for the... In really, animal order, bio order and human order. In human order, we have much corruptions and everywhere we have noticed. But in case of animal order, every plant is, it is there growing is automatic. But in case of technology developed, everything, the political also imbalance we have noticed. Even Sanskar, you have already informed that to be changed. But that takes the time. My question is, uh, how much time to require in this process? Yeah, see, how much time, meaning now all the changes that have happened also haven't happened overnight. You know? It has taken some time, loss of awareness, greed, so many factors, lack of understanding basically has led to this process and ultimately it is understanding that is going to bring back incompleteness. So yes, piecemeal, you know, a lot of things are happening, a lot of 
awareness regarding small things here and there regarding the nature but ultimately if we want what we were talking about the resolution part completeness no the complete solution then it has to be you know every person having the right understanding having the whole picture only then can it be sustainable can it stay and for that definitely it will take time but the more and more people who come on board are able to see this and are able to participate play their part in it the faster it will happen so my question to you would be yes. are you yes. volunteering yes. so if but, all of us yes. volunteer if all of us participate it will happen faster if only few of us volunteer it will happen slower so you can see that you know as we understand our participation is very necessary if we want to happen if we want it to happen faster isn't it yeah um actually the base we have lost that then for example if you participate uh, some of the staffs and everyone they have routine work only they have focused here if you put the rules and See, regulations let's discuss the problems arunachalam ji problems there is you know it can go on and on what are we doing about it let's focus on ourselves this is the whole point of you know the this growing of understanding within us that what are we doing at our level can we do something can every one of us do something to help the situation because we can all talk about problems they have been there and you know they will not just vanish then we are just waiting for something outside some change to happen outside but the change cannot happen unless effort is put in by each one of us no all the orders are working except the human order mm-hmm. and i have come to the conclusion that one content that plastic is creating too much problem for each order why till now before the invention of plastic we are doing everything but now plastic has come in each and every field most of us but government is not doing or we also have become habitual let's not discuss complaints against others okay let us see what we are doing isn't it until the production of plastic dana is not stopped whatever we can use it that plastic uh, polythene two or three four times but it is also being produced continuously this is Main- why the awareness has to increase if you if we sit here and complain about government is not doing their job this one is not doing that one is not doing is it going to bring any change nothing will change it will just stay that way but if we have you know if we can increase the awareness the understanding so that in the systems also it comes in place then it will happen there are many places that have become um, you know with this awareness of um, replenishing nature not destroying the nature and so on much efforts have been done so if we keep waiting for the government to make that change it may take a very long time but it is the awareness of the people that brings about change and that can ultimately lead to change in policy through the government also isn't it so let us focus on what we need to do to do that conversation can go on and nothing comes out of it now yeah, we can avoid the use of plastic bags yes we can do many things we can increase the level of understanding of people so that more and more can do this no not just plastic there are so many issues isn't it deforestation so many things are there using pesticides many 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 things will be there so yes while it is true that you know even if one aspect we take up and we work on it's good but if we can look at the whole picture if at the base the understanding is right see if we go after one 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 disease it will take a very long time but if we focus on health it can happen much faster because there are only few things to understand few things to take care of but if we go into you know why this problem why that problem there'll be a multitude of things we have to work on then it becomes tough but if we know what is right and we go on that path then everything that is not right is going to fall away yeah yeah before i listen this uh, 
uh, session regarding this uh, four orders i have a consciousness uh, regarding the nature uh, we have to protect the nature uh, uh, that sense i have but after listening that uh, i understood that we have to uh, interact with the nature uh, with the right understanding that is very important and also the most importantly if, if human being we are not intervene in the other three order the nature itself will be flourish uh, itself uh, that uh, that i understood ma'am uh, mm -hmm. why observing that uh, that is the one reflection i want to say so we've been talking about right understanding or knowing now let us look at what is involved here so there is a knower i because who is going to know i as a human being the self is going to know there is the known what is to know and then there is the process of knowing so let's look at this one by one we spoke of this and if you recall for continuous happiness we said we need right understanding right feeling and right thought in the self which we had termed resolution and in this resolution was included of course at the base the right understanding then the wisdom on the basis of the right understanding being able to see what is our goal and the science how to go about fulfilling that goal with that our conduct outside our behavior outside with other human beings and our work with the rest of nature our participation in the larger order all this the basis for this becomes the right understanding so you see that's why we were talking about now when we talk about behavior with other human beings or work with rest of nature you will find there are some people who are um, so um, passionate about doing things for nature but interaction with human beings is not there or is you know, far from fulfilling so somewhere or the other we miss out on some parts of the picture if we don't have the full picture i know people who are very involved with nature but they are not able to have a fulfilling relationship with anyone in the human beings so that that incompleteness you know that being able to see only one part to go beyond that to be able to see my participation in every sphere for that that base of right understanding is very essential and ultimately the outcome is going to lead to undivided human society and universal human order and for this to happen each one of us has to put in our participation see in the society also in the systems also up to a point it will be lot of effort it starts even if it starts from few people the effort is there and as the effort becomes you know as the awareness grows as more and people more and more people become aware this effort is multiplied many fold by others who are participating and ultimately there comes a tipping point where in society also this change becomes apparent so that is what one needs to look at of course there are problems and if we keep focusing on the problems we are losing sight of the solution so our focus should be on the resolution and that has to be with the right understanding and for that you know having the clarity of what exactly is right understanding and how to go about it ultimately we have to work within isn't it each one of us and we also have to participate outside both are important so if we keep working and we leave it at that then i have the understanding i will have the right behavior i will have the right i will do the right work but how do i carry this forward so my participation is also essential so the clarity of each one of these points and how it is important in bringing about that change that is significant and worth you know paying attention to and ultimately you want it to come into the human tradition so that it's not just for this generation when things are so bad that you know we are talking about extinction of the human race if we continue like this 
but we are able to resolve things and have it continue generation after generation for our children for our grandchildren for the generations that follow so that significant work needs to be done and it starts from knowing right understanding or knowing next slide please so what is right understanding we said it is to see the reality as it is uh, can you open up this slide yeah so who is the knower who is going to know it is the self right i have to see this entire existence whatever there is to know within myself so i am the knower the self what is to be known everything that you know i am involved with everything that affects me that has to be known so everything in the existence now what we can look at it as is knowing about the human being and in the human being being able to see that it is the self that is central that is important or that is the priority and the body is a tool that is being employed by the self so if the self you know knows or if the self has the right understanding body will definitely be taken care of because with the understanding comes the right feeling with that you know the feeling of self regulation in the self for the body and so the self can take care of the body so this knowledge of the human being that is significant knowledge of the existence isn't it because everything in the existence we said we need to know and knowledge of human conduct how to go about things what is my role outside and if we look at the process of understanding yeah you can open up this slide process of understanding or knowing we said that is awakening to the activity of contemplation to the activity of understanding and to the activity of realization just open up the slide fully and when we looked at this we said contemplation is about the relationship about seeing my relationship with the other unit about my participation in the relationship with the other units what is referred to as the natural characteristic understanding has to do with understanding the innateness of every unit the self organization that is there in each and every unit which is ultimately reflected in the harmony that is there already in nature i don't have to create it but i must understand it so that at least i don't disturb it and ultimately awakening to the activity of realization the subtlest activity within the self from there one can see the subtlest reality the space so we may not be able to see it now it may take time but as our understanding grows bit by bit we are able to see more and more of what is to be known and ultimately with realization comes the ability to see the space the ability to appreciate the coexistence to be able to directly see the coexistence and to be able to see this as the all encompassing solution so there you know from there when you look there you would call it the completeness of right understanding so to see the reality as it is the knower we said is the self and we have already seen that self is the seer the observer the one who understands the one who knows the body is being used as an instrument or a tool so self is the one who is paying attention who is seeing who is observing and we also spoke of seeing being the whole range depending from where you are seeing if you are just seeing from selecting and tasting level you will only see a small part if you are moving up to thought analysis logic you will see a bigger part if you are able to awaken to the activity of contemplation you can see the relationship you can see the natural characteristic you can see your participation and you bring that in your living so you understand that as you awaken to the activity of understanding you are able to see the self organization the harmony in every unit and so you can also see the self organization within you within the body and every unit and of course with the awakening of the activity of realization you are able to see it all that is the completeness of the right understanding so this whole range is there so from where we are seeing that is significant because until and unless we see from the highest level 
we don't get the full picture. It's like if you are at the lower level, what is at the higher levels, we are not able to see. But when you are at the higher level, you are able to see everything down below very clearly and you can see your role in that. So that we need to work on. Yeah, next slide. So the details of this, you know, to see the reality as it is. When we say see, what does it mean? So in the whole range, if we are looking from tasting and selecting, we are just looking at the shape of things, nothing beyond that. If we are working from comparing, analyzing, then we can see, you know, especially when we are comparing one unit with another unit and so on, then you can see the property, seeing the effect of a reality on another reality. So for instance, you know, fruits and vegetables we eat, the effect of the fruit or vegetable or any food that we eat on the human body, this would be an indicator of a property. So now our focus is on the property of all these units. But all of this can keep changing. There will be a lot of variety. What is definite at the base? What is unchanging at the base? That I must be able to see. So for that, the next level, the contemplation, activity of contemplation, awakening to that, there I am able to see the relationship. So my imaging, my desire comes in line with this contemplation. Now, contemplation of the relationship, being able to understand the relationship, that guides my imaging, my desire, my feeling. And with that, then I work. No? Then the lower activities follow accordingly. So being able to see the relationship and being able to see my participation and the participation of every unit that is already there. Awakening to understanding. With that, when I awaken to understanding, I am able to understand the innateness, the harmony, the self-organization that is there in every unit. And with that is the determination for myself also to be able not only to appreciate this, but to bring it in my living and have my lower activities in line with it. And ultimately, if I am seeing from the point of view of realization, now it all becomes clear. It falls in place. I can directly see the submergence of the units in space. So it is all authenticated now. No more doubt is there. It is very clear to me that this is how things are. This is the basis. This is the foundation. That is why the relationship is already there. That is why things are the way they are. That is why there is self-organization. And all of that falls in place. And with that, my lower activities also I bring in line with this. So this whole range is possible. And with all of this put together, we are able to see the reality in its completeness. And you can see now that the part that is definite, the part that is universal, that is the significant part. The form and property will keep changing. So I may not be able to get the full picture from there, but ultimately to be able to directly see through all these higher activities, we can have right understanding in its completeness. Now, when we are able to see the reality in its completeness, that we are calling the knower, the self as the knower. Because to know, we have to know this all things, right? For that, we need the completeness of understanding within us. For that, we need to awaken to all the higher activities within us. Now, next slide. And what is to be known? So we said all of existence. Isn't it? Knowledge of the entire existence is required for this. So knowing everything in the existence, we had put it down as, you know, all the orders and all of that. You can also put it down as knowing about the human being. Because after all, if I don't know myself, how will I know things around me? All of existence. And then my role, my behavior, my conduct with these. So that this, you know, living with it, that is significant. Otherwise, just understanding and not doing anything with it, that is not going to bring about any change outside. So here now we are talking about these three points, human being, existence, and human conduct. Human conduct has been brought in because our, you know, one is our existence, but also we are living in this existence, right? So if we bring our living into the center, then 
our conduct is extremely important part in that. So in this process of knowing, first we have to know the self, the knower. Once we know the knower and we are sure that the knower has developed the competence to be able to know the existence as a whole completely, then only can we be sure that yes, we have knowledge of the existence. If we have not awakened to the highest activity yet, and if we think we know, we don't really know because we haven't seen it for ourselves directly. It is just information. It may be a belief. See, we may believe something to be true. We may assume it to be true. But then tomorrow there comes along another assumption and this one gets wiped out. So until and unless we are able to directly see for ourselves, we can't really call it knowledge or knowing. So we have to work towards completeness, developing our competence. Next slide. Now if you look at the process of knowing, we said it is the awakening to the activity of contemplation, understanding and realization. So we can have the clarity, the understanding of relationship with the activity of contemplation, of harmony, of self-organization with the activity of understanding and coexistence with the activity of realization. Not just for one unit, of every unit, entire nature, we are able to see the whole existence, understand the whole existence. So this we already spoke of. Seeing the existence is coexistence, which is in the form of units, submerged in space. Seeing the harmony is the innateness, the self-organization. That means self-organization of every unit in the entire nature. Every unit is functioning in its own way without anybody supervising. If you look at the body, we spoke of the self-organization of the body. If you see in the body, your temperature, the body temperature stays within a certain range. Electrolytes stay within a certain range. Blood oxygen level stays within a certain range. How is it happening? We are not doing it. It is part of the self-organization of the body. So like this, you will see for every unit, this innateness, this harmony is already there. I just have to understand it. And of course, when we look at the contemplation, my focus becomes on my participation in the relationship. So rather than expecting things to change from outside, this should improve, that should improve, you know, this is a problem, that is a problem, this one is not doing, government is not doing. All of that changes to seeing my role, my participation in the larger order, not just with one unit, Slowly, as my vision grows, as I am able to see more and more, my participation first with my individual family, then with a larger unit and larger and larger and larger until there is no boundary, until it is my participation with this entire undivided human society. No country boundary, no religion boundary, no boundaries. It is inclusive of everyone every unit, entire nature. So seeing my role, my participation in all of this, that is the contemplation. If there's any question so far, we can take it. Otherwise, we'll move on. You can raise your hand if there's a question. So in this process of knowing or awakening to the activity, higher activities within us, so if we look at the realization of the coexistence, when we realize that everything exists in coexistence, that every unit that is there seems to be energized, seems to have energy within it. Things are happening on their own. Plants are growing, changes that are happening within even the, say, the soil, the rocks. If you see the animal order, if you see the human being, you will see every unit seems to be having some energy from somewhere. And ultimately, you know, we call it... it the sun is giving the energy to the earth and so on. But then if you look at the sun, the sun is also part of the existence. Where is it getting its energy from? So ultimately, you, you know, when you realize or you are able to see the coexistence, you realize that it is this, that the units are submerged in space. And being this way, being submerged in space, every unit is energized in space. Every single unit is self-organized. It is there in a definite order. 
we are not making things happen we disrupt it and then we say we have to protect this we have to do that we have to save the soil and we have to do all those things but before we intervene anyway it was happening in a very definite order and every unit is recognizing its relationship with every other unit and fulfilling that relationship how is that happening you see a pumpkin you know plant if you see a pumpkin plant growing or one of these you know loki any of these climbers plants that you know the the stem it climbs so if you put a stick or something even if you don't put anything it will find its way it will you know go on the ground till it reaches some tree or something then it starts climbing on the tree and if you notice all these climbers they go in a clockwise direction all of them and ultimately it is giving rise to the fruit and all of that but how does it know to go there how is it happening that it is going in a particular direction how is it happening that it is climbing up na even if you pull it down again it will climb up this is recognition and fulfillment not that we call it knowing not that we call it understanding but this is recognition and fulfillment this is already happening this is how it is in nature because of all these units being submerged in space so if you look at yourself the self is also a unit in nature we said we have to so the body is like the plant body you know the recognition and fulfillment that is definite and all of that if i look at the self myself as a unit so i am a unit of consciousness and i am there in space i am energized in space because these activities that are going on in me if you recall the exercises we are doing observing the imagination so we are observing our activities of desire you know the feeling the thought the expectation when we observe them we may not be able to observe them all the time but that's just a lack of competence but when we start paying attention we notice that they are going on all the time where are we getting the energy for this they are continuous even when the body is tired body is sick body needs rest we are lying down in bed but these activities are going on and on where are we getting the energy from this for this then i am self organized in space i exist in a definite order i have a will to live with continuous happiness every human being every self has that will to live with continuous happiness it just so happens there is nobody who has any other will but to live with continuous happiness this is part of my self organization and i find that any time my feeling is not in line with the natural acceptance i am unhappy this is also part of my self organization for all of us it is like this how is it like this because we are all self organized in this manner being in space when it comes to the relationship i can recognize my relationship with other units and fulfill it and when i do that i feel happy when i don't do it i feel unhappy this is how it is because being in space as a unit in space this is already a given this will be there what is there in me is the choice choice to understand this and to live by it or choice not to pay attention and just go on living looking at the outside which we can see now you can see why when we do that and our focus is on physical facility why we have so much unhappiness because this i am not able to see that this is part of my self organization it cannot be any other then with all of this realization i can live with authenticity i can live in this manner work for you know initially it will be a lot of effort but ultimately it becomes effortless it comes in my living and this possibility of continuity of happiness is there which is what i wanted in the first place so this can happen in continuity we'll stop here if there is any question 
we take it. Any observation so far? Mahita <laughs> is saying, wow, this is amazing. Yes, it is, isn't it? That revelation kind of thing, it is so amazing that things are so definite. Now there is no fear of just the unknown, suddenly something happening. Because things are very definite. It seems like, you know, things are just happening just like that. But there is order in the randomness. There is definiteness in the variety, in the changing. There is unchanging at the base. That when we are able to appreciate, now there is no more fear of unknown. Now there is a confidence that, you know, this is there, this is the way it is. I just need to understand and do my part now. Yes, so if any question is there or any observation, we can, we can raise your hand. We have maybe two, three minutes. So while you are reflecting on this and maybe 